Welcome to the Invasion Session 10. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 17th of June 2020, and here are the players. Hi there, my name is Gregor. I'm going to be playing Adair. He is a bit of a rogue, and he's also an air genasi, so he's a bit on the blue side. What is going down, peeps? I am Scott. I'm playing Alvin, who is a gnome artificer. Hi, I'm Callum M. And I am playing Cognac, the barbarian turtle. Very clear on the barbarian part now. Good evening, I'm Alexander, and tonight I'll be playing Fleabait Skaven, who's still pretty terrible at everything. Hello, I am Ewan, and I'll be playing Lyuda, the Loxodon Druid, who may have had his last nay. Hi there. I am Callum, and I'll be playing Thea, the priestess of chaos and most lovable, huggable, crazed dame on the planet. And you're Callum B. Thea. I'm Callum B. Thea. Okay. After all the effort, I went to clarify that I'm not Callum. Ah, yeah, I wasn't listening to you. I'm sorry. Who dare? <laughs> Who's not Callum? Exactly. I mean, you'd, if you're not right, wait, you'd, you'd, you'd think ten sessions in, though, right? You'd think we'd have yeah, this. If you're not Callum, then not. who not am I? Scott. I can't remember your last name. <gasps> I'm sorry. I, I asked who I wasn't, not who I am. Ah, ah sneaky. Sneaky chunk. Eh? That... Like, if... <laughs> okay, what happened last time? <laughs> um. The horse got punched. Because, like, it stayed as a horse and wouldn't leave. So, guard things got angry at the horse. Um, we done the boost. Thea got, um, went on a mad wee date with some horse lover. Um, yeah. Accurate. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's probably probably a better, more elaborate way to to speak of such things. Not a lot, in short, though. Thea had a good day. The rest of us Thea had a grand got... day. Thea had a good day. The rest of us kind of got shunned out of the 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 castle hall. We met a fancy day. ghost woman, dragon lady. Yeah, that's right. Um, she can control the robots. Yeah, Everyone all at once. Um, nothing too much else happened, really. As far as my memory can tell. We've still not went to dinner with uh, Kingy, my Bob. We still That's might true. not go to dinner with King and Bob, based yeah. on based on events. Based on the event, I'm sure he'll have you guys to dinner. Oh yeah, for sure. But you depends know. whether he views us as, you know, partisan to the air quotes crime. There was no crime. I mean, in their eyes, there was. <laughs> I was a member of that party. I swear, officer. I was just here, man, my business. I have no uh, relations to that horse. What horse? <laughs> Who is this man, and what have you done with my horse? Um, Hermani went in for some smoochy smooches. Who did? Sorry, Hermani. I mean, her <laughs> her 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 <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I meant her. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, Hemani. That's a pet name for him now, Hermani. No, Hemani. <laughs> Hemani is a character from the Monday game. That's why it's funny for Callum to mistake that, because uh, Hemani would be cast. Uh, to be, like Charles Dance would play Hemani, put it that way. So, the idea that Theo went on a date with um, Charles Dance slash a black dragon is um, quite funny. The jokes. Uh, I meant Hermani. I assumed you meant Hermani, yes. Yeah. Um, 
I have to remember Just in it. case any any of the any of the fabled like diehard fans out there um are are, you know, just wondering. Yeah, it's definitely a... I love John McLean. Yeah. Sure. I am John McLean. Pew pew pew. Cool. Uh, anything else people remember at all? Did Iuda get taken away or was that like the last time? She got happened? down and that was it. Mm. Oh yeah, you're about to die. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, also, you check your messages. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> it was funny because you almost died. I, if that's everything, then let's move on to goals, shall we? Go! Indeed. Goals. I believe in your goals. <laughs> I love goals. There's always one who makes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, sorry. it's unfair, though, isn't it? Hey, so yeah. what we yeah. like talk talk at me, folks? They're your goals. I mean, I'm still happy keeping with learn more about Cynthia Von Rune because there's still more to learn about her. Cool. Like, as to why she is alive, or not alive, or pre why how she is present, I guess. Or give her a present. Giggity. <laughs> Where did she get those lovely teeth? <laughs> Compliment her. <laughs> I was wondering if like Fleabite's going to change his to opening up an uh, orthodontist type uh, <laughs> consultancy. Yeah, it, it, it was funny because you tried to like gnaw her face. You did try to crawl yeah, her. Can... Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm reaching out. I'm just stretching. I'm not doing anything else. Somebody I'm just going to reach. <laughs> uh, but no, um, Adair is happy to acquire directions or a map back there uh, to uh, Barris. That's the name of the place. Mm -hmm. But yeah, You're I'm going to stick with that goal. Yes, um, oh, I, like, oh, I like the phrase oh, back indeed. to Barris, though. That's an interesting phrase. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't... I, who knows? I might have been there. I was very drunk that one time and travelled the world. Mm. In the arms of a spaceship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm really losing it tonight. <laughs> Anybody else updating or changing your goals? I mean, I, I could expand on what one word means. <laughs> yeah, because I'm pretty sure yeah. there was more words um, last time. There was, and then I was like, ah, it's fine. That's, that's just you know, we can we can refine that into one word, but no, we can't. Um, I changed one to avoid arrest by Ron Von Runes. Bots. Okay, but again, that comes up with the same issue that um, Alvin's last session goal had. There, it assumes that you're going to be arrested. I mean, because I think based like, on the situation, that's a but it doesn't valid. because that just that that as it stands is an ongoing, never-ending goal. So long as Von Rune and his bots exist, you see my point. Not to be held accountable for the action, actions of one maybe horse. <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah. So I think that's really what you mean underneath it all. Yep. MDLs? Are we? We good as is. I'm happy with Golden. Uh, good. I guess. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> that is terrible. Nebu horse is terrible. Um, <laughs> ah, horrendous. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, good. Let, let, let's just see what happens, shall we? Um, we'll... We'll, we'll have a session. Okay. We'll have a session. 
Or try to. Yeah. So, we open up after the credits play. We see everyday, you know, swiftly, almost running, you could say, down the street. Dashing, I think, would be the accurate term. Uh, into oh, the, what was that? Always am. <laughs> um, well, I don't know, I just got flashbacks to your... Um, what, what could go wrong as you jump off the boat? <laughs> oh, dear. Perfect natural one. And then, um, yeah, he's all a uh, dash uh, off clear of the gatehouse. Um, I'm assuming they're all sticking as a small group um, and can all of you in that particular scenario roll perception? Indeed. Uh, perception... That's persuasion. There you go. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm alright with that. 14. Just wait on one more. I clicked, but I don't know if it did. Oh, it came through. Don't worry. There it, it is. Hey. Yep, we got it. So, yeah, I think um, you all notice um, as you like bolt away and then like turn and be like, cool, but where is our horse elephant that we had? And then you see Lauda in a fight and going down and then being like carted off by uh, you know the rune bots or the rune guard however you wish to label them, the metal men How are they taking Lauda away? So they... imagine someone's tranquilized an actual elephant and a bunch of strong men lift it away however that looks in your head is how this looks Cool, no it's On... just in case they were trying to fly away or anything like that any no, because the gatehouse that. is just there. Ah, so they're taking them back to the gatehouse. Cool. Yeah, so just ironically back <laughs> in the doors. To get up there. The horse was, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. In that case, Adair would turn to the party and say, What shall we do? We should maybe go back and get him? In that tone. I mean, oh, I don't want to get in a fight. He brought it upon himself, and he's already been locked up before. I'm sure that's all that will happen again. Okay, so do we just wait till we see the King Lord Man and try and get him released, or? I mean, I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm a little tipsy. I did have a whole shot in a. You had like, well, did you get more than one glass? Really, in the end? No, I only had the one glass. That was it. <laughs> I love so, it. Yeah, <laughs> even one shard. Love it. Singular. Mm -hmm. I'm a I one can Dan, you know. One shard <laughs> of this chardonnay. <laughs> I had a whole shot. I'm feeling mm -hmm. a little lightheaded. I'm not sure what to do in this situation. <laughs> How's it? Flea bite in all this? Yeah, probably flea bites like climbed up into the back of the turtle shell. Just like, uh, You're very kind of quiet and distant again. I don't know if it's just me, but yeah. No, it's sitting here, mate. Very distant. Eat your microphone. Hello. There we go. Mm. Much better. Yeah, flea bite's probably just like sitting on the the back of um, Cognac and sort of trying to remember who's missing. Probably like not entirely convinced. I mean, yeah. Like, if you want, you could try and roll perception to see if you know who's missing. I guess, like. If you want to have that down to like a dice roll or a wisdom save, if you really wanted it to be something dumb. Um, no, all he's thinking I, about is that grill that he didn't get to steal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A what save? 
Wisdom. Oh, wisdom? Yeah. I didn't quite hear what you said. Yeah, it was a wisdom save. But yeah, I, um, no, that's fine, if you're not too fussed about that. I, yeah, so what's the plan, folks? What do you do in the street where these are probably getting people like staring at you and people that were walking by, like nearby or whatever, probably noticed the I mean, I'll be acting, Gafuffle. I'll be acting casually. <laughs> I mean, as casual as one can in that situation. Levitate slightly <laughs> to the left? Like... <laughs> yes. You know, it's like everyone's, I'm aware everyone's staring at me, but I'm just kind of, ooh, I'm like pretending to look over there, so as mm. they look over there. Like, mm -hmm. oh no, there's something else somewhere else. Um, but have we... We haven't blown it for dinner with the king. This was... I mean, well... I, mean, I suppose it's we... all up to the king, isn't it? Yeah... You and I mean, he'll get a report of what happened. D four for I mean, me as well. Who was that? Right? No, you. If you could roll a D four for me, perfect. Um, yeah, sorry. Carry on, thank you. I suppose he'll get a report of what happened, and then he'll also be aware that um, Layuda is now in prison again, and then it will be up to him to decide whether he even wants us at dinner. Well, that's only Layuda, not the rest of us. But I mean, we're, we are a group, so... True, but the rest of us weren't aggressive? Um, yeah, I mean, the only, one that, the only other one that got hit was um, Adair. I got hit? Yeah. You got missed. Oh, yeah, you got missed, but you got swung at. It means tacked, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Attacking I mean, and connecting are two different things, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I didn't... Rip spawned i got out of there mm -hmm. i believe and so you know i wasn't the aggressor of it anyway um it was just a big misunderstanding but he the king does know that our friend has had a wee bit of a bad time being in the city he he lost his favorite stick um he's an elephant um you know these are all big factors that i'm sure a wise king would know the spreadable right king yes. and chief Release elephant thing twice, maybe. Mm, mm -hmm. Exactly like Fleabite said, release elephant thingy. He is also just a king, though, and he might just view us as a group as more trouble than we're worth. Uh, but we are the representatives of uh, Little Belmore. And we, Meat Shield, not um, worth it for him to bother if we are to go on um, egg hunt for Scribble Wright yeah. clan lord. Wait, 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 there's, right. there's eggs? Yeah, you know that whole dragon egg? Yeah, the dragons. To go? And I'll just yeah. be like, oh, <coughs> sorry, I'm getting kind of hungry. I could go an omelette. So, eggs? <laughs> Gotta break a few elephants to get an omelette. <laughs> Uh, Lightning strikes you from the heavens. <laughs> and I'll be like, I think as you've said that, Alvin just kind of looks in confusion, and just, or not in confusion, but like ponder and go, I don't think I could eat an elephant sized omelette. Well, maybe it was the to try. trouble I've seen. No. It's a good job elephants don't lay eggs. We don't know about the burrito. True. Oh my god, can that be my new goal? Find out if elephants lay eggs. Ryan, we're still in eyesight of the guardhouse, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And are, the guards aren't making an aggressive approach towards us. No. Um, they're not still they chasing took, us right. They took the elephant back inside. Mm -hmm. Um. So is the gate door closed or open at the moment? Uh, no, they're still open. It's a public building. For the public. Not for horses. Exactly. Is there anyone nearby that we could maybe ask to pop into the building on our <laughs> you behalf? You cowardly bastard. <laughs> I'm not cowardly. I'm being wise. <laughs> uh, I, unless I, there's anyone at our party that would be willing to pop back and go, so, things cool? I mean, oh, I, do, I, do. I was going to say, <laughs> but, like, I mean, I don't know what the end goal would be. I was going to say, keep... Keep most of the chat if you can in character if possible. Yeah. Um, so, Adair, how do you broach that? Do you just go off and ask somebody? Because as I said, there are people nearby. Oh, 
There are people nearby. Gentlemen, should we ask one of these fine city folk to pop back in there and see if, you know, we can go back in? Or do... Go go see well. if we should go back in. Um, yeah, sure, I'll go check. Two minutes. You, you want to do just, that, Alvin? Okay. Then I just kind of, I'm not even, like, paying attention. I just start stomping. Mm-hmm. Oh, we never asked any of the citizens as to how cities run. None of us know the actual scripts of things. I mean, we see the metal men and we see the king, but we don't see any other men. How do things run? <laughs> Maybe you that want me to run, fine, and then I just start running. I mean, we've been here and we've had drinks, we've had meals, we've bought some shoes. Um, everyone seems to just get on with things. So I'd assume it's the king with all his power. But as to how the actual running of the background processes of the city goes, we know nothing. Ah, you mean there might be a power that we haven't met yet? Maybe. There's no standard city guard. Maybe just asking the process that usual citizens go by in order to petition the king or whatever. Hmm. Knowledge would be power. Well, while Alvin stomps up, um, I mean, I feel we should possibly keep an eye, but should we split the party and someone head to the nearest local and try and get some information off them? What you Time mean, is it? Split the party further, is what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three seconds, guys. Oh, Lyoda's gone. Lyoda's, I mean, he, the elephant's dead. What time is it? Like, uh, is, it, is it not quite close to, like, say, in my mind, five o'clock? Well, keep in mind that you were in a fight that was uh, six seconds around last session. So when you asked last time and there was still, like, you know, for you guys a couple hours till till dinner, yeah, you still had mm-hmm. that. Or yeah. and, until evening, air quotes. So it is about five-ish. I think splitting the party again may not be the best idea. Because Alvin's just left. Yeah, so but he's left with... with and... I mean, it depends. Like, he's run off to go into the, the gatehouse again, right? Like, in the guardhouse, as it were. Um, and we are within walking distance of it. Yeah, like, in the sense of use dash to get to where you are. So he's like, what, 60 feet away in a bit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... We can either dash back to be with Alvin or the people that are nearby, we can see if perhaps any of them look like, uh, you know, people in the know and approach them and see if there's information we can maybe get out of them. I will approach the people nearby. Fleabite, what do you want to do? Go with Alvin or stick with Cognac? Because you're on Cognac, so it makes sense if you stuck with Cognac, I guess. Yeah, I just stay on, on, the, on the channel. Cool. Um, in that case, I will go with Alvin. Like, I'll be within earshot. Like, if he's dash 60, I'll move 30 so that I'm... Uh, that's not really within earshot, is it? Uh, it doesn't really. Like, it just depends. What is it you're trying to achieve? Let's, like, not sink too heavily on the mechanics just now. Tell me what you're wanting to do. More, I want to make sure when Alvin goes into that building, he's not just going to get speared or anything. So you want to just, like, sure slink up by right. the doorway then and just, like, maybe have your, like, you know, up against, back against the doorframe? Yes. Type thing? Yes. I am listening yes. in. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and we can have the result of that scene when Scott comes back. So... <laughs> yes. What about a uh, cockback and flea bite? Where does this the adventure duo go? Um, so the gatehouse is up a winding road, if I remember, no. from the city. No, I remember no, so that. The gatehouse is at the bottom of the the road. Okay, right, yeah. So we we're, we're very near the town, and we're oh yeah, you're you're, you're still in the town. As I said, there are townsfolk yeah, yeah. walking past you guys. Yeah. Yep. So I guess. Um, like the closest thing to you that has been mentioned so far is probably the library. FYI. So I'll go to the library then. Sure, yeah, you can head that way. Um, I probably. Um, Give me a. Has that mentioned the library to me before, though? 
Mm, I, I think, think so. I actually know about it. Well, well he said he was going to the library. He said he was going to the library, and then he ran back and it started screaming about problems. Dragon Lady. Yeah, and then uh, all the rest happened. Yeah, but he has so mentioned a lot you. about a book and being in a book. And did she? Was she in the book? Like. So, yeah. So a book at the library has really disturbed Alvin, is what you know so far. Um, yeah. So it's up I to guess you. I'd probably, like, imagine Fleabite, like, perched on the top of my shell, so I'll probably just sink in to my shell and look up and be like, there's talk of a weird book at the library. Maybe, maybe that's the place. Maybe they know about warp stone. Yes. Scribble right may hold secrets. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. Yes, let's go. Yeah. So, uh, do you give me a survival check, Cognac, um, to find out where the library is? Uh, this is more of a how long it will take you to get there. Um, yeah, cool. That's reasonable. Yeah, it doesn't take you long at all. Um, and thanks to Fleabite City Secrets, it takes half that amount of time. And, uh, yeah, you wonder, uh, like, Fleabite says, whatever he does that involves you getting to uh, the place quicker. Um, just basically, it's a, let's instead of going around the square park, we'll just walk through it much. Quicker. I like to imagine <laughs> I'm walking incredibly slowly, but he just encourages me to walk faster, and that's a city secret. Mm-hmm. And in fact, just pushes you. <laughs> like, climbs <laughs> down and pushes. Um, but yeah, so you just head that way. Um, Alvin, you're back, so you... Yes, yes wa- I am. ...walk up the steps to the, the guard gatehouse, whatever it's actually called, we'll never know, and then mm-hmm. uh, you walk inside, and yeah, you see a bunch of um, you know, guards. Do they say anything? No. Me? No, just, just... They're just there. Like they so, were guarding the door. I would just be like... Ah! Hello, guards! And then one of them acknowledges you and walks towards you and says, Please state your business. Well, um... As for before, that was a bit of a mixed bag, shall we say. What I'm wondering is, can we get our elephant friend back, please? And then there's just like some silence. And then the, the response you get is, if you have a petition for lost property, please place it on the notice board in the town centre. <laughs> What? There has been no official notification of any lost bags or elephants. No, you you took the elephant. Clarify. We had an elephant who was before a horse. And, um, yeah. I think you wanted him to leave and then he didn't quite leave. So you kind of take him away. If you have no official business, please leave. Meal with the king from behind the door. What? What, sorry? Meal with the king from behind the door. Ah, ah, yes. We still have the small matter that we need to meet with the king for meal time. You will be summoned when requested. Hmm. Where should we wait? <coughs> where, where, where should we wait? <coughs> I can hear you. I'm wanting to know if I should say anything else. He's also got his back against the door frame outside the gatehouse, so... Yeah, I should mention I'm not next to you. I'm outside. So this would be subtly shouting into you, but... you know. Oh, subtly. right. Okay, so this yeah. is actually in character. Yeah. Um, I'll be like, well, 
Okay, random voice in my head. Uh, where should we wait? Well, we wait to be summoned. You were provided wait. with lodgings for your stay in Runestead. You may wait there. Hmm, yeah, waiting bores me. Anything fun around here? If you have no official business, please leave. And as I just as Alvin just keeps kind of humming to himself, like kind of hmm, thinking, you just see him kind of like still facing the guard, but just kind of like backing out backwards across the door, and just out, and then be like, hmm, and then wait until he can see you there, and then just go, yeah, we ain't getting the elephant back, but they they, they don't seem mad at us. Okay, um, but didn't I hear something about a petition for lost property? Apparently we lost the elephant. I still think that they took it, though. Hmm. Mm. But that might be a way to get him back. Where did they say we should go to do this petition? They didn't. Something about hanging one up in town hall? Town hall? Town hall sounds right. Know, it's bored in town. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's fine. If, if Alvin doesn't remember, it's fine. It's lost to memory. Town hall. Um, does, did a deer overhear that because I was yeah. sneezing at the time? The notice so I board. The notice board, right? So it's literally put something up on the notice board for lost property. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But that was at City Hall. No. Ah, <laughs> but that was all out in the watchtower in the, the gateway. No, in, thing. in the in the city centre is exactly what we said. Like, um, or town centre, I think, is what I said. Um, right. Yeah. Does anybody else think there's a difference between lost property and a prisoned bury? <laughs> think you're a horse. No, he he's not a horse anymore. He he, he was hit out of that, um, unfortunately. But it's it's the elephant they want to return, not the bury or the horse or the bag, that the robot may have been confused about. Because Alvin. I have no idea what you are on about. Mm. My Alvin. My, my Alvin, my, my friend, we should go. Um Okay, well, um where where, where are we going? Uh, we should find out what the others have been up to. Uh Cognac and Fleabite have been up to something this whole time. Let's go see them over there. I like the phrase they have been up to something this whole time. Like, <laughs> you get back and they're just standing, right? Like, I just loved it. <laughs> what have you been up to this whole time? I, um, Nothing. <laughs> but no, they're, um, <laughs> you go back to where they were and they're gone, essentially. I, um, and we oh, was I not keeping eye contact with them? No, you were listening into to Alvin and Casey was yeah, going to but... get a dodgy and they walked away right um, uh, they walked away sorry I thought they were just within range so no because Fleabite said let's go this way it's a shortcut and for some reason Cognac listens to him <sighs> oh god <laughs> yeah um, but meanwhile yeah you just get to the library is the librarian there I mean do you go in would you like to go in? Well, I'm, I'm assuming I'm at the library, so yes, I will go in. Excellent. And indeed, you go in. And yes, you see a woman standing behind the kind of welcoming desk. And she just looks up and she says, Hello there. Hello there. And she looks awkward because she's like, well, that, that was my line. And uh, she just smiles. Smile back. I love the idea of the turtle smile, though. It's, it's so glorious. Because it, <laughs> like, it looks like you're up to something in my head, like the, the turtle smile, because of the way your beak would be shaped. But anyway. I think um, Fleabite would just jump onto the... I presume she's got like a reception area desk. As aforementioned, yes. The welcome desk, yes. And 
just jump on top of it and be like um, your keeper of scribble rights. It says books. Um. Hello there. And she like kind of like recalls ever so slightly. She's speaking deafly, but obviously for that. I repeat myself, though, just yeah, <laughs> like, <okay>. pretty obtusely. <laughs> goes, um, you're free. We could definitely have this conversation, you know, standing on the, the floor. I think Flea Bite just, like, leans closer to her and gives her, like, a good sniff. Okay, that's really creepy. Do you have books here? I... I think, library outside. I think you, you your friend to step back, sir. Oh, don't mind him. He's he's, oh, he's harmless. Oh, I mind him. I, I'm minding him a lot. Um. Uh, flea, flea bite. Flea bite. <laughs> uh, flea bite then just runs back up onto uh, the, the turtle shell. Cool. Some people, eh? GM. Like straightens her right foot out a bit. She says, "Yeah, that's not Something. okay." Something about a, a, a book. You a book? Yes, uh, you have an interesting book out here. She goes, "Oh yes, we do. Uh, the Book of Von Rune. Yep, that's that's housed here." Can you can you tell me about it? Hey, uh, what would you like to? Do? Anything and everything, you know, that, you know, you know. She blinks really slowly. And then she says, well, I mean, I just let people in and out. Is it not very odd? There's, there's, you have one book. Am I supposed to have more? It's a library. Libraries have thousands. What are they about? All sorts of things. Stories, information. Whatever you can imagine, really. So is our book. Interesting. How does that work? It seems a lot more efficient than yours. We only need the one. <laughs> Back home, I burned down library. It took down... It took days and days for it to finish fire fire. Okay. I don't feel like Alvin just now. <laughs> and then, uh, she just looks really uncomfortable. Tough day at the office. It's turning out that way, yeah. Um, hate those days, eh? So where, where's this book? You're not allowed to see it, though. That's the only thing. What did um, Half Man find? Who? And she just like looks mildly terrified of a uh, flea bite and a uh, kind of bemused like, cognac. Why can't we see it? You've not like you've not been okay to see the book. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'd look off slightly. I think it's a surf. Well, that's not right. If you'd like to see the book, though, I could put in a request with the king. No, no, no. I already have the king's okay. I meant to be having dinner with him later. And I was at his up at the keep earlier on. And then she's like, oh, sorry, you said the, the king had okayed this already? Not so much that, but I'm with the king. We have a, a mission he's put us on, and I'm required to gather as much oh, information. Oh, so you, you, you work for the king? Yes. Right, okay. And I need to see the book. Uh, again, like, if you want, I can... How long does that take? I like looks around a bit, almost searching for an answer somewhere, and she says, uh, I cloak, my, my cloak pillows. Yeah. 
the door is still open behind you. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the last of the light coming in, although the second son's probably going to be putting in some work soon. And uh, she says, I mean, it depends on the, who's who's asking, to be honest, for the requests, because d different people, you know, like the, the request times is different. Did the little man, the, the, the gnome that was here before, did he have to put in a request? I, he, he was pre-approved. See? She, like, oh. she kind of just nods like nervously, still kind of looking at Fleabite. And who, who approved that? It was done, done years ago, before I even worked here. Really? Really? Because I have it on good knowledge that he was only here a few days, or one day. Like, has it been one day? It hasn't even been a day. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I think it's maybe, maybe been like six hours, if mm. that. <laughs> um, and that is, that is possibly including the fight with uh, the chud. So, <laughs> yeah. Like, look, look here. This I... has been a long ass day. Yeah. Just had to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I know that this has been a tough day for you, and we're not the usual crowd, but I need to read that book. It has information that is of utmost importance to me and the king on the quest the king's given me. And this will all just pass very quickly if you allow me to see the book. I know you were lying to me just now. And don't bother trying to get. She like screws up her face a bit, like her attention comes off a of flea bite. Finally, back to you, goes, "Excuse me, you've you've come into my place of work and have accused me of lying when you've already tried to mislead me with your innate, like your relationship with our king. So please, Ms. please, please do do I need to call the guard? Hmm. As I said, don't worry, you're... Tall. We can wait here all day for." It. Approval. I, we can just stay here in lobby lobby. I'm sure um, you can put up with us just sitting here, causing no trouble. That as Fleabite just like um, still gets still onto the floor, doesn't get onto the desk, just gets really close, like puts his um, his nose up to the almost touching but not quite the desk. Mm -hmm. We could wait all day, maybe tomorrow. Maybe next week we spend whole time here with you. Indeed. We can't leave until we get what we need. You can't be... can't be asked to do too much by our, our king then if if you've got the whole week you can spend with me. She kind of like chuckles really nervously. Not all of us required. I could just me me stay with you you. He's lovely really. And he starts scratching really hard. When he's not but please. And she kind of looks between the two of you and goes, Yeah, I'll, I'm going to go put that request in with, with my king. Can you do that. And she, like, you know, goes through I don't know, the back, I guess. And then, uh, yeah. Bad things. All feeble mind. Not enough fight kill as younglings. Yes, you said it. Anyway, shall we go find the book? And just listen to Scott's beautiful breathing. <laughs> All right. It's okay. It's very rhythmic. As opposed to arrhythmic. I, 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 I swallowed a metronome when I was younger. Ah. Is that why we can always count on you? Dot dot dot. But <laughs> <laughs> fucking awful. Anyway, I've done myself damage. Don't worry. And um, yeah. So what do you do? Now you are in like you know the lobby of uh, the library. Have some toast. No, wished you're not there. Is is there an obvious way towards the book? No. Which direction should she go? 
Uh, through the back. Through the door. So what's the room like? Is it just a big square with one door or two doors? or? Uh, big steps up to the library. Um, big columns outside it. You walk inside. Uh, kind of nice fancy welcome area, right? And then, um, yeah, that's like there's a desk. And while there may be more ways to go, it seems more like a almost like an information kind of building, right? Like a kiosk, almost. Or like a place where you would only buy train tickets, if you know what I mean. So you're saying there's another building further on? Or? No. Nope. Bil a stone building house of scribble rights has many secrets. Maybe even too many. Hmm. Flavor just says, scratching away. Is there a door other than the door she went through? No. There is not. There is just the one door. Reminds me of Warp Laboratory. Go in wrong room and boom! No more. Um. It was also just Alvin's education you've described, um, to be honest, as time through. My through, education you know. is top notch. It just happens to end in a lot of booms. Uh, well, they're having that conversation. Yeah, like Adair uh, and Alvin, you are um, heading where once you leave, right? Well, uh, Adair said to go find the others, so I guess I'd be following him. Did we, by any chance, see? Did we see where it went, or did anyone? Uh, oh, sorry, I'm dying. No one told us <laughs> where they were going, so unless we see, you see. Yeah. Is there any tracks or anything, or is it a rock? no? No, but you just see, like as I said, you saw them walk away, so you could tell Alvin like what direction they went, mm -hmm. and if Alvin was smart enough, he could maybe realize that the thing that's that way is the library, right? I don't think that's that difficult to piece together. Mm. Colin Alvin, you're meant to be the intelligent one here. What? Oh, God. Adair spent the rest of his life walking around the city with Alvin. You've, all, all you've done is turn to me and just be like, you're meant to be the intelligent one. Yes, and? No, no. Well, they went roughly that way. What? what I believe, didn't you come from that way? What's that no. way? Only thing that I know that that's that's that way is there. The only thing I know that's that way is the library, but I can't really see why they go there. Hmm. Levi doesn't strike me as a reader. None of them do. <laughs> well, Cognac is a bit of a barbarian. Maybe they just wanted to see where you've been. So that's Lord yes, Cognac. Maybe too. we should check the library. Uh, uh, Lord Cognac, of course. Always. <laughs> Always with the fan club. Uh, shall we head towards the library and see if they've gone there? Yeah, why not? Because, you know, we'll find something there, I'm sure. I know the things that are there. Um, yes, so, uh, yes, we will head off in the same direction that Cognac and Cleavite went. Yeah. With the information of maybe drawing one of those little Boss My Elephant posters to put up on this uh, notice board. Cool. Have you seen this elephant? Mm -hmm. the... Elvin, you can work on that. Yeah, so I think um, while you guys are doing that, we skip over to Thea. Hello. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, oh, yeah? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because we're going to yeah. find out what happens next. Ah yes, we're gonna find out what the 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 role decided at the end of the last session. Ooh. Um, I, I think you're just gonna bite the guy's face off, but you know. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we open up on Thea. What do we see, Thea? We see. So Haran reaches down and obviously reaches a hand out to Thea. 
Yes. Um, and she takes a hand and pulls up, and he goes in for a little smoochy smooch. Yeah, he goes in with you know a heavy implication that you wouldn't mind a wee smooch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Thea like pulls herself up, obviously, um, and like almost goes in, but like side passes. Um, ah, oh, look at it, it's so pretty. Ah. <sighs> Callum's at peace now. Mm. Um, yeah, kind of like veers off sort of to the left, uh, so her, like their cheeks are touching. Mm. And she just says, should we go get some clothes? And then gives him a wee peck on the cheek and just starts walking. Yeah, I think he just kind of like stands there a bit red in the cheeks, as it were, and... Uh... And eventually, after like a second of what just happened, I was like, uh, yeah, sure. Um, wait, what do you mean? And then, like, runs after you. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, when he catches up, she'll just be like, well, you did say you uh, don't have anything suitable for dinner. Okay, like, does it must be a. He rubs his, like, Hair again, like with his hands over his like, you know, back of his head, and he's like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't often get invited to fancy dinners." Well, there, there must be a tailor of some description. I'm sure we could pick up something, and then head on over. Um, um, yeah, uh. If you're, I mean, what what you're wearing is very fancy as it is, so. Eh. I guess you can never have too many options. Yeah, it looks a bit awkward. Hey. It's like yeah, but if 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 you're looking for something, um, you know, nice or um, custom made, uh, you've got old Elfies. I can take you there if you want. Shall we go? Let's go. And she gives like a big grin. I guess that just like whatever like confusion or embarrassment he's got in his head just now, he kind of you know, washes away and he's like, yeah, okay. And he uh, off he's uh, off he's wonder that way. Um, so I'll take you a bit of time to get back. Um, mm-hmm. Bye, guys. Yeah. Meanwhile, while you are uh, traveling back, we'll go back to the library where uh, we've got flea bite scratching away with his nose near the desk cognac standing billowing majestically um and uh i guess in walks alvin and i dare like by damn they are here before they walk in could i check if the door she went through has a keyhole if not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, you, you can go up and check. You can I just wanted to peek through and see which, if she was like literally just on the other side of the door. I was like, <laughs> just like st- sitting rocking back and forth. <laughs> when, when are they going to go? <laughs> Our answer to that was just go in the storeroom where they keep the post Yeah, pretty notes. much. <laughs> when you have a terrible customer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just hide. Oh, please say that the door she went through said janitor on it. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually the bathroom, but anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I don't think there would be a keyhole. No, like the, um, that implies there's no lock to it. So yeah. Okay. So maybe like maybe you're leaning over the. Uh, the counter just to try and look at the door to see if you can spot a keyhole as Alvin walks in and it's like, hot oh, damn, they are here. Uh, I'll be right behind Alvin going, oh, I'm quite surprised. Uh, Alvin, yourself, I dare. Um, we, we came so across very useless. What have you found out? Uh, the, the lady here is pretty useless. Um, and I've not seen a tough day in her life. But anyway, She's, she was nice to me and very helpful. How dare you say such a thing? <laughs> and like, I just kind of like 
lean to the side and like uh, give the librarian a wave. She's not in the room. She's, She's the behind room. the door. Oh, right, okay. Sorry, I thought. Never uh, mind that. Cognac, wh where is this librarian? Uh, she left through that door over there. Ah. I was trying to get to the book you... and she wouldn't let me. Why not? Alvin was allowed to see it. Exactly. She took me right to the book. Hmm. Half man thing was here ten year ago. Well, that's what she said. No, what? Alvin, no, you were didn't. here ten years ago. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just like, you so know, backing him up. So you're just saying like, completely lies that ten years ago Alvin was here. Cool. <laughs> no, it was just like what he meant was, she said that it was petition petitioned many years ago that Alvin <laughs> be allowed to see. I'm just like, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, cool. Alvin, you've been wanting to come here for ten years? Mm, no. She said, and then I repeat that. Um, what? I've I've never been here. Mm. You were here about two hours ago. Stop lying to us, Alvin. Mm, I've been here now, but not before. Anyway, where's the book? Well, like, there is literally one book here. Not that hard to find. Where's the, where's the librarian? Um, through the door? If I was a librarian, I'd be in the library. Makes sense, right? Well, Alvin, if you've been granted permission to see said book, shall we get the librarian to bring us said book, now that you're here? I just, like, start pissing myself with laughter I and mean, it's like <laughs> oh oh no no <laughs> book move it bring it to us oh that's a funny one I looked to Cognac very confused as in I pull the same face I like the idea that it's just a shot of Alvin laughing and like wiping away a tear looks up at the three of you just staring like the fuck, dude? <laughs> Just a total blank face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think Fleabite um, would like to I... just um, hop over to um, Alvin and, like, you know, there, there's only a matter of inches in height between the two, but he would try and, like, stand up as, mm -hmm. as tall as he can com compared to him um, and just be like, is this what you try and... Um, hide steal my warp your stone you try to steal from me I just look at him and just kind of like pull out my pockets and be like I, I I didn't steal anything from you what are you on about a pen is this where you fight starts <laughs> no my pen so, was in my jacket uh. The minute he started pulling out stuff from his pockets, I took a couple of quick steps back just because. Yeah. I mean, the first time we met him, yeah. No, I mean, my pockets are empty, but, you know. We don't know that. Yeah. But we've known you for over a year, and we still react like this, so come on. <laughs> Has been for like two years, you know. Um. <laughs> Shall we get the librarian back out? Because you have permission to see this book. <laughs> I guess so. But what do you guys need to see the book for? Well, we're clearly getting nowhere with the metal men. Hmm. You'll tell Maybe me. they have information oh. about how the city's run. Before um, I forget, to get Lyota back, we have to put him on the lost and found board in the town centre. Well, this is the information that Alvin found out. Is he our property now? Uh, um, I mean, never, but this is what Alvin was told. Yeah, but we didn't really lose him. They took him. Yeah, but they didn't the, acknowledge that. Like the metal it's man. like they were confused. Yes, it seems like the metal men don't have the same awareness as a normal person. That's why we're not getting anyone. Mm -hmm. 
So we might be able to retrieve Iota by pretending that he is but an elephant. And they will see that as a way to bring him to us. Or this is just my theory at the moment, gentlemen. And yeah. flea bite. I'm a thing, look very hurt. Bloody. Huh. You may be in you better know. you may be better off with metal construct. Bioda. Uh, anyway, the, the the book. The book. The book. Yes. Right. Shall we get the librarian? Um chap on the door. Alvin. She may be crying. What FYI. I was I abrupt. immediately to cock that and be like, what did you do? Nothing overboard. But she's can't. crying? Maybe. She's pretty weak willed. I just kinda give you a really like mean look. Let me clean up her city, shall I? <laughs> oh. Take it I wasn't oh. Ah, that's from last time. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't need that. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. <clears throat> A cleaner Runestad. Look at that lovely Runestad. Um, but yeah, so I guess uh, Adair and Alvin got up to the desk. Mm-hmm. Oh, we know she's not at the desk. She's behind this door, so. I mean, you've been told she went through the door, yeah. Um, there's a bell, obviously, for attention. Oh. Which uh, I just imagine it was me again, though. Anyway. I, I will walk up to the bell then and just be like, <gasps> ding, 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 I immediately snatch the bell off him and move it to the opposite side of me, <laughs> away from him. This is when Fleabite does this. <laughs> I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> Fleabite just takes the bell, jingles every time he walks. That was going to be my next question. <laughs> I was just going to ask, is the be bell nailed to the <laughs> desk? Why are you ringing and why are you ticking? <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, it's not nailed down. It is just a bell that was set on the desk. So I've taken it away from Alvin uh, yep. after several dings, put it to the opposite side where Fleabite has now claimed possession. Uh, uh, I will describe but... this bell as a proper bell that has like a little kind of, you know, like almost a, I don't know what you would call it, but a stick to hit the bell with. It's not a ding, hit your hand off a button. Wrestler's bell? Like sure. you know the one yeah. you would use to Cool. Not quite as big as that though, unless you're Alvin. Uh -huh. oh. oh well, to Alvin it was. That's why I was playing with it so much. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a little tiny one of those. Uh, and yeah, Fleabite, you gonna attempt to just take it or? Um, Fleabite would like to, um, quickly, like pocket that. Um, hopefully, not seen by too many people. But I guess you would also, um. Like, yeah, no, that that should be fine. I'll, I'll just. Do you want to give me a, a guess? If you want to do this stealthily, do you want to give Slight me a, a, a? Well, no, because it's not difficult to do, like, to get it into his bag or anything. It's just yeah. it's the the stealth part is more important than the sleight of hand part, right? I don't think like not getting it isn't a big deal. It's the doing stealth with disadvantage. I think is what's going to happen because it's. Not that difficult to spot you or hear you do it. But you can definitely mm. try. Is he is he hiding it from the party or is he? Well, he's behind from... you because he's you've moved it to the other side of you and you're probably just shaking your head at Alvin. Mm -hmm. Um, MD's a yeah. passive better than that. Um, sixteen. I don't think so, but uh, is it passive wisdom? Yeah. Oh, passive perception. That's. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, mine's is 12, so... So no. Cool. Oh, hell no, 13. So, uh, yeah, unless Cognac beats that, I think we're... Nope, I'm going to assume no then. If you're... He's muted? He is. Yes, he is. 
I heard, like I heard the talking from the other side ah, of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was opening a rocker, so I mean, then I forgot to turn back. Um, do I need to roll? Because I don't think Cognac would really care if he knew anyway. Uh, nobody, nobody rolled it was um, passives we were talking about. Oh, yeah. no, I wouldn't know. Should be looking at the screen. So, uh, yeah. In that case, yeah, you, you get the bell and nobody seems to give a fuck and, or notice enough to give a fuck. Don't, don't care. As long as Alvin's not dinging it every two seconds. <laughs> or actually every millisecond, as it seemed to be for a moment. Um, but does the librarian pop back out? Uh, I mean, I just want to everybody to take stock that Fleabite has now committed a crime in Runestead, but sure, yeah. Um... Yes, first crime committed in Runestead, definitely. How was that a crime? The only yeah. crime is that Fleabite did not have that bell. What, sorry? He stole, many... he stole a bell. Yeah, it's not like crime, it's like... At no, the crime. moment, he has a bell in his possession, but he hasn't left the premises with. Fleabite was just examining it and happened to like it a lot, uh, but he hasn't stolen it. He hasn't left the premises with it. Um, yeah. he was just this is like the end of the Guardians for... of the Galaxy, where Rocket's trying to like say, right, so all of our criminal records are expunged, but like, what if somebody has something I want? Well, that, that's a crime, that's theft. Like, yeah, but what if I want it more than they do? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that bit. So, yeah, that's what this scene I mean, is. Um, I agree with Rocket, so yeah, this is why I'm arguing it. <laughs> you're playing a rogue, we know you agree with Rocket. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think um, after a while, like, the door opens, right? Um, and uh, Shock's out eating something on a stick. this is my first time meeting her, how... What does she look like? Because I cannot for the life of me remember. There's a photo in the NPC. Yeah, it's an NPC ah, list. Right. She has a picture there. So she comes out eating. It, it's a pretty boss pet photo as well. Yeah, it, it, it really implies she burnt all the books, though, that picture. Um, I mean... Mm, yeah. Maybe. Maybe that's why she was terrified yeah. of Fleabite. Okay. It was just a mirror of herself she saw. <laughs> what she has become. She looks nice. I think so. And, um, yeah, so she comes out, like, eating what looks like, you know, various meats on a stick. Meat on a stick. Do, do, do. And then she kind of, like, does that awkward thing where she, like, politely, like, finishing what's in her mouth, and then she's like, um, sorry, um, how, how can I help everybody? And then she looks over at a Cognac and Flea Bite, and she says, I sent you a request off to the king for review, by the way. Does, no, I was just going to say, does the previous request for my friend here still exist as, you know, is it still valid? Hi, Jezebel. Wave. Did you say that? or No, but I'm just like, I can't really show you how I'm waving oh. as well. I, well, think I, could, I can imagine. Yeah. It feels very um, floppy wristed waves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she, she kind of like smiles at you very briefly, like, oh, you were pleasant, you know, in this sea of uh, unpleasantness that has been the last moments of her life. And um, yeah, she um, she says, did, did you want to see the book again? Speaking specifically to Alvin. Um, can my companions join me? Um, if you're willing to sign them in, where do I sign? She like just literally leans under the desk and lifts up a piece of parchment and then a, 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 an ink bottle and quill. And I'm like, yeah. I'm also just gonna make a roll to see if she. No, nah, she hasn't a fucking clue. Her belt's gone. <laughs> Where's my Jezebel gone? What bell? Uh, what, what bell? There is no bell. bell here. Um, the rebellion begins. Clearly, now. she. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> um, I just be like, um, okay. Uh, grab the the pen and quill and book and ink and 
<laughs> other writing implements and just start like so the piece of parchment frantic. and then the quill and the ink yeah okay yeah and just like start frantically scribing their names on it and cool. uh, then so you, don't, hand... you don't read it or anything no you just no just cool. I look over his shoulder to see what he's writing on. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, um, like, um, it basically yeah, says that he takes upon himself full responsibility for guests he is bringing with him. Uh, yeah. The library. Sorry. Yeah, then I just uh, hand it back and be like, "That should be everyone." Who did you include everybody here? Did you include anybody else beyond that, or just the folks no, here? Yes. Just everyone that's here. Cool. So, like, uh, Thea hasn't been put in, mm -hmm. basically. Or Lyuda. Oh, Lyuda. yeah. The, the, the elephant. <laughs> You're really bad, so you forgot Thea existed, and now you forgot Lyuda existed. Already been I, forgotten. I, I, yeah. I, I, I missed <laughs> the God. elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, to be fair, it's because of those plots we speak about, yeah. <laughs> He's got, what, the best intelligence out of the party? He is the like, smart one of the group, it is so worrying. I <laughs> have an intelligence of... 16! Fear my brain oh, power! God. I was just about to interject and say, well, actually, but no, no. Yeah, he's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he's the brain. Oh, dear. So I love it. Um, if bite comes, it well, goes, well, actually... <laughs> <laughs> I have a 22 uh, yeah so she goes um, uh, she just like takes a bite of the, the meat from a stick um, she has, oh, um, sure, I was going to say do. when mm -hmm. go for it so I was going to say when Alvin is signing uh, I lean into her to get her attention to just kind of flirt in a nice way but just kind of be like so uh, you are the librarian of this large building yet the I hear there's only one book. It's impressive. She's like just proper munching on this, like you know, essentially kebab skewer esque analog, and she's like, um, "Oh yeah, yeah, really good job." Yes, uh, you do it well. Uh, how I take it, a lot of people are interested in the book. Oh really? Most people must be busy. Most people read it in school. In in school. You say? You don't have school where you're from? It takes on a big munch of her. Uh, Lipstick, as it were. Well, I travelled a lot when I was young. Uh, didn't really have time for going to school buildings. Uh, I was schooled in a different way. But. Um, what, like a travelling school? Access... Um, not a travelling school, a uh, travelling group. Of teachers? There was a few that taught me along the way different things of course I mean like GM but finishes this... the stick of meat so everyone has access to this book in their school yeah how's, how's folks supposed to learn oh no it's just interesting because um I mean, as far as I know, only Alvin of our party is allowed to view this book. So, how could anyone view it from school? Uh, all, all citizens of Rundstad, uh by birth, right, get to read the book. Ah, unfortunately, I am not an original citizen of Rundstad. That might have been my problem. I could always ask the king to make you one, and she kind of like laughs at that. I am. Um, ha ha! Yes, I'll join her in a chortle. Uh -huh. um, it is probably as awkward as it sounds, right? The laugh. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. Ah. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, yeah, moving on. Yes. Mm. Aye. One of those yeah. kind of weird, weird laughs. Um, um, and then so I move towards Alvin. Have you finished? And <laughs> be <laughs> like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm trying to see how charismatic all that went. Feel free to like just do a wee charisma check if you wanted. By the way, um, I don't mind if you were trying to like you know schmooze. You know what? Why not? Let's see how. Just just a raw charisma score. score. Yeah. Uh, charisma, 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 charisma. It's up. Ah, oh, it's not up the top in these sheets. It's here. Um. Oh, did I just hit the? Uh, the word charisma. charisma Should be the word charisma. Like you mean it's not a save we're doing. It's just score. 
Right, there's, oh, there's a sorry. whole bunch of attempts. Okay. <laughs> it didn't do anything, and then suddenly it did. That's Multiples. okay. You I definitely are on a delay for us, so don't worry. Um, I think the nine actually accurately represents the conversation we had, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that fits. Um, yeah. She's maybe just thinking what it's like to be taught by a travelling school if people aren't teachers. That's maybe the thought she's got stuck in her head just now. Um, cool. Because keep in mind, she obviously clearly sounds like she's been raised in Runestead, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and so this book is nothing to her because she had it in school kind of thing. Right. <laughs> mm. I mean, Interesting. <laughs> when you live here with this as your normal, right? It's, mm. I guess, fine. Um, but yeah, so you... Um, you all head to the book, I guess, then, right? Unless yep. you've got to do something else along the way. I flee, but you're going to have to take extra care as to not both ring and uh, have your ticking too audible to anyone. I think I just want to rule now that your ticking's audible within a uh, five feet of you, and that's it. I think th just write that down somewhere so I don't forget as well. Okay, Alexander? We heard Does it I... depend on how quickly he's moving? Uh, the ticking, the he no. moves like normal speed. Oh. The bell, if he's just, It'd be if, great if, if he it, takes time and actively makes sure the bell like doesn't jingle, or if he pads it eventually, like yeah, it mm -hmm. won't make noise. But for now, yeah. Is, no. So is the is the ticking going to affect um, if if there's okay fine. I mean, it's a ticking amulet, yeah. <laughs> It is a ticking amulet that if you hold it close to your ear is barely audible. I mean... But, okay, no, that's fine. So, um, yeah. You said to the book? Um, upon, on our way to the book, um, I will turn to Cognac, just whispering away from the librarian, uh, if that's possible, without like her being within earshot kind of thing. Um, just simply ask Cognac, so what is it you wish to see from this book? Hmm. Well, just information as much as I can get. Mainly, when did these metal men become the guards? And why are they so accepted when they, you know, couldn't tell a ferret from a rat? Things of that nature. See. Also, if there's a way to get in contact with the king, that doesn't involve going through them. Hmm. Oh, do you believe this book might hold maps? Maybe. But I think you should question the veracity of these maps and any information given since it was made by the king. Hmm. You don't trust this King Lord Man Bishop, do you? Uh, guys, can I just check? Am I in earshot of you? Or are you doing um, this kind of like secretly? Or? I was doing this away from the librarian just because. Like without earshot, but we are all following her. Alright. Uh, in that case, yeah, I probably wouldn't be listening to you, Zane. I'd probably just be like following the librarian. Never mind. I can imagine say, you right next to the librarian because you know exactly where you're going, so you're like, follow me! La, 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 la. <laughs> I just finished by saying, don't trust many, especially those with power. Mm, I see. So, you're going to give me that ring yet? Wait, what ring? Uh, your family ring. Don't you have a seal ring? Thing? I Sign do. A signet ring? Why would I give it? Yeah, why would I give it to you? Because I want it. <laughs> <laughs> you come from a noble family of power, but you're like, no, I don't trust them. So I'm just like, well, give me it. I can use it. Just every oh, now and again, no. I'll bring it back up. No, I'm using it right now. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Maybe when I die, you can have it. 
But don't kill me. Sorry. So, no, I would never kill a comrade. But I don't think I have long to wait. <laughs> and, and wow. He just raises the eyebrow while looking at you. <laughs> I cough with age. <laughs> Dark threat, man. Not a threat at all. Uh, turtles only live to 50 something. Something like that. Oh. Yeah. Like 45, 49, something like that. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to outlive him, so I'm more than happy to wait and get that ring. Challenge accepted. Ooh. <laughs> As we're Fleabag just jumps up and says that. So, uh, yeah. Um, As you are all chatting away, you say maybe Riders have been walking for um, quite a bit now. Um, and just past who knows how many doors and yeah she just like opens the door because I guess and you just go and just kind of smiles at everybody the doors the doors we passed do they have any markings on them any signs or anything or uh, in, you, you in have no idea what they are you were busy nothing. chatting away you took in nothing <sighs> of the journey ah oh, curses no oh. As she flings open the doors, I would just kind of walk up and be like, Hey, again, book! And just, like, pat it. Yeah. I turn to Cognac and say, I'm seriously beginning to worry about Alvin. Only well, now. <laughs> and she's like, are you, are you all going to go in? And kind of, like, motions at the door, and she's like, because it only works if the door's closed. Yeah. Of course. Sorry. Uh, just coming. Just coming. She kind of smiles, like, politely. Oh, thank you, my dear. Thank you. She kind of, like, nods. And, you know, and if you all walk in, she'll then close the, uh, the doors again. And, uh, yeah. I, these are now alone in the room. While these are doing that, Thea, any plans to head anywhere specific? Well, I guess to the um, the the tailor that he said <clears throat> for fancy clothes. Well, might mainly for him. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not he knows that is no. He seems to think you're going for you. Um, yeah, definitely. But yeah, so I think like you are technically ahead in the timeline anyway. So I think you can you can be arriving at that. Yeah. Cool. Um, I guess like we would look in, or uh, and um, or maybe go into the store. Yeah, and it's like you and, know, uh, I would say it's the fancy part of town, but most of towns like. Nice, you know. Yeah, um, and she'd, she, I think she'd look at her and go, <clears throat> well, what do you like? Uh, um, what do I like? Like, you, for, for um. Then and she's going to just walk over to, is there like a, an attendant or a, the, Kiosk man or no, no. woman or so you're in you're in uh, as I said Alfie's um, I think that's what uh -huh. I said earlier um, and yeah there's like I want to say like you know middle aged ish women um, at what you know is the kind of but really it's more just a kind of she's long type thing um, um I guess. Uh, in that case, you would just like start heading towards like the main <clears throat> clothing section, if there is such a thing, and just be like going through and picking out something, and then picking it out, and then like holding it up over like where she sees to run in, and like seeing if it kind of fits, not fits, but like looks good, can like to his face. Does that makes sense. Yeah, and then the woman kind of um like looks up, I. Uh... And then, like, gets up off her, uh, her seating and kind of, like, walks over to you. Jules, you're new in town. Yes. Hi. Hi, indeed. And then, eh? Uh, my, my good man over there uh, requires some, um... A wedding, then. It's her eyes go wide. No, no. Uh, di we're just going for dinner. 
Ah, and so he's not your man yet then, eh? And she elbows you in the chest, like kind of playfully. I think Thea tries to imitate what she imagines, you know, woman laughing, going, ha, 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 ha. But it probably comes out really weirdly. Uh, See, and goes, ha, ha, ha. Roll initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, goes, uh, no. Uh, anyway, he requires them some nice clothes. And I think she'll look over and go, nice, sir. Clothes. He just awkwardly is like looking anywhere else that isn't you just now. I am, and has been since the words like wedding or whatever uh -huh. you mentioned. And uh, Alfie looks at him and she's like, Oh, I could definitely use nicer clothes. But then, who, who couldn't, right? And she kind of looks at you um, and laughs. I, and then looks back at him, and kind of like the laugh kind of dissipates, and she just shakes her head. Like, mm. What for? When for? And uh, how much are you spending? And she just kind of smiles. Dinner with King tonight. Uh, I don't know how much clothes are. <laughs> Thea says that. That's not Callum. That's Thea saying. They are money. And she looks at you. And she goes. No, I'm asking how much you're going to spend on the outfit. If you've only got a couple of coppers, I can make you an outfit for a couple of coppers, but I don't know if the king will enjoy it. And I think she raises her hand in the air and goes, TWO GOLD! I think, um, her hand, like, chokes a bit on the air. Um, like, what? If he was drinking, he'd spat drink out, obviously. Um, yeah. Um, I think, yeah. He kind of turns around. Goes, I, I can't. I can't afford that. Kind of like shakes Shh. head side to side. She says, Shh. and uh, I think Thea takes out the two gold and just hands it to the woman. Yeah, she takes them and kind of like you know does a thing where she like jingles them up and down in her hand, as if she's thinking while like she's like looking up and she's like, "Dinner with a king. Dinner with a king." Hmm. And yourself? I think Thea would whisper, sorry, um nothing too and then like and you can't see that. Um uh like kind of star bursting her hands, you know to kind of indicate too poppy and joy. And she like she knows, she goes, I gotcha. Classy. Kind of nods. Yeah. And she's like, hey, okay, okay. Um, I need to buy tonight. Hmm. <sighs> when tonight? Tonight, tonight, or like tomorrow, tonight? She kind of like looks at you suspiciously. And then, because really, think, you need it in like less than an hour. The, quite frankly, yeah, uh, I think Thea would indicate what are the the appropriate amount of cycles that they need to. Uh, none, zero cycles. <laughs> the appropriate amount of uh, minutes, I guess, to when they need to be dinnering or dining, I guess. Yeah, and uh, she kind of rubs her chin a bit, and she's like. Whew. Sure. Okay. I've been assured your skills are. She kind of like waves her hand. She like she like she she waves you off. She like I'm not bred to be buttered. And she kind of just waves that at you. She's like she jingles her hand with the money because this is you know. She kind of nods. Goes. Well, get your man naked and in the back. And then she kind of just walks away. <laughs> like down the back of the like in a tailoring shop. I think she walks over to Ran and just grabs him by the cuff and mm. I guess leads him to the 
whatever, like a changing screen or whatever they have. Yeah, in the... and then there's just that kind of as he gets pulled like off camera, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, and uh, I think we cut back to the book team, the book club, and uh, book club. Yeah, the door's closed on you guys. Uh, and they're in the room with just again this. So she's not in the room with us. No. No. Cool. So as the door closes over. Uh, well, sorry. As oh, the door... You're up packing the book, you know, so. Yeah, so as the door is closed, I stop packing the book and go, right, let's get in it then. Uh, and with two hands, um, you just see me like what, pry what? open the book and just slam it down, like slam it open. And much like before, you open the book, but, you know, every day makes a wisdom save for the book people, obviously. Uh, wisdom! Oops. I Guess got I a 12! Just a straight out wisdom? No, you mean a... Uh... Wisdom, wisdom save. save. I can't remember what the wisdom save for. Was, uh, for something wisdom. you were unaware of. <laughs> What's that? For something you were unaware of. Um... Oh, did I not do this last time? You did, but I, you don't know oh, why. Jesus. Oh, you yeah. failed your IRL wisdom. Uh -huh. um, so we've got a... I think a, I was distracted, so yeah. Well, we've, like, I'm assuming you weren't supposed to be at disadvantage, Cognac. Uh, no, okay. but I'll accept it too, because I don't really have a choice. <laughs> no, like, the 12 is fine. Um, I just wanted That's if there is role. some yeah. reason... You had disadvantage. No, it's I was a disadvantage, disadvantage before when I thought I was going to have to roll with disadvantage, and then I never switched switch back. Ah, see, assumption was your folly. Um, but yeah, so we got 12, 12, and a 16, and a 5. So, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, much like before, as described, you seem to be in some kind of like magical rune filled land of, uh, you know, make believe. But really, it's just that all the walls and everything seem to become kind of rune-etched. You seem to be in some kind of like, again, metaphysical space that all kind of culminates in runes forming, you know, an image of a uh, Richter von Rune. Very like. Hey you again, book! You come seeking more answers and you have brought guests. <laughs> Alvin, it? why is the King Lordship man here? Because he's the book, man. That's the king, man, bishop, dude. <sighs> the book makes him a he's person of... book? <sighs> takes a deep breath and kind of... <laughs> the book takes us into some kind of mad reality rune land and it uses the king as an apparition as a kind of user interface for the book. Uh, so basically ask the book any question and the book will answer it to the best of its book ability. Bookability. Where is Warpstone? Clarify. Green shiny rock. It is um, of magic. There are various entries on a magical mineral that most are classified. Restricted access. You would have to request this from the king. I just kind of turn to flee bit and go, go. Yeah, he does that a lot. What are the specifications for an item to become restricted? By the king's decree. I see. Um, do you have information about? His metal men serve him as guards. Clarify. Rune guard. Built them. What do you wish to know? I look at it there and. Who built the rune guard? There's you know, no reaction from the image. 
sorry. Who controls the rune guard? Again, no reaction. Alvin, what's wrong with the book? You didn't say please. Um, please tell us who controls the rune guard? Again, still no reaction. <laughs> we the rune guard. I, I just start bursting laughing and go, <laughs> you fell for that. Uh, and what was it Cognac said? Who built the rune guard? The king. Richter von Rune. Who controls the rune guard? Ask that again, I never heard you. Who controls the rune guard? The king. Richter von Rune. Mm. Do more than one the... person have access to that control? Clarify. We encountered someone who was able to control the rune guard, who was not the king, or seemingly so. It's you see, a royal family. You but... see the um, the glowing eyes narrow. Clarify. A person claiming to be Cynthia von Rune held the rune guard stationary, and they were unaware of their stationary nature once they returned to normal, as though they were stopped in time. There was like a moment silence, and then... This would seem unlikely. Cynthia von Rhun is dead. And yet, I, I would just kind of button and be like, "Then how is she appearing?" Clarify. Well, we met a woman at the guard house claiming to be Cynthia von Rhun. And she could walk by them without them reacting or anything. There are no reports of this incident in my records. Well, I'm reporting it now. Does anyone have any ink in parchment? Alvin would imagine would. I mean, you'd think that. It's on your case. <laughs> Uh, I don't actually think I do, my friend. I well, have a bottle of black ink. I have a quill, but I don't I'm sure, have I'm, any. I'm, I'm sure you can read your sheet quietly. What was that, dear? I was going to say, uh, while well, he's searching in his bag and pockets and whatnot, uh, I turn to the party and say, you know, this book, I think he's racist. He's not acknowledging my questions. He's acknowledging the questions of the first person to ask. Although, could try again. Now the yeah, blue wind thing is too stupid to ask questions. <laughs> yes, Fleabite. Indeed. Oh, look, Fleabite, there's something over there. Go look. It might be green. I think it's some kind of rock in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so Fleabite was out by your shot. Um, so I will then turn back to the book while Alvin's still searching for his parchment. Um, with your wisdom and knowledge, do you have a map or clear directions uh, in which one can travel by land or sea to the kingdom of Barris? No turn back to Cognac and say, yep, racist. It has a thing for Genasi then. And then I repeat the question that Oh, I dare put forward. What do you see? This isn't the I do the role play game. <laughs> do you, perchance, have a map or yes, a map that has clear current directions on how to reach Baru by land? Uh, Barris, but yeah, that's fine. Um, 
you'd know that, don't worry. Um, the Baru are from Barris, and uh, the book person uh, says no. Can can you show me a picture, an image of some kind, if it's possible, of Cynthia von Roon? Oh, that's a good shout. And then um, it says yes, and then uh, like an image appears, you know, next to the image of the king. Do any of us recognize it? One hundred percent. Does she have the, the teeth? We saw. Uh, she's not. She's not showing teeth in the big portrait that you have of her. And a what big... teeth? Teeth did she have? Clarify. What kind of teeth did she have? Clarify. And it's looking between you and Fleabite. I'll just go. Do you have an image of her smile? No. Did she have gemeralds in her teeth? No. Ah. <laughs> then why did the one that we see have gemeralds in her teeth? Clarify. Her teeth? And like, I kind of smile and point to my teeth and be like, had gems stuck in them. Unknown. Do dragons book... like gems? Clarify. Would dragons wear gems as vanity items? Such a weird question. <laughs> Is that what he, he responds? Or? No, it's me trying to think of how the fucking image of the king who made a book to answer people's questions would answer a question about if dragons would wear jewels as vanity items. I think the answer is just yes. I think simply put Cause that makes me think that she's a dragon. You're obsessed with this dragon thing. The dragon I say theory. that both in and out of the character. Looking <laughs> mm, dual stream role playing here. <laughs> I mean, if she was a she dragon. Died. Yes, yes. Would you fancy asking the book? Why it has no information of Barris? No, Barris. Let's go. Better, uh, I'll just interrupt and be like, better yet. Book. Why are you not. I told you, I've not got any. I've not got any paper of that. Right on your arm. No, right on yours. But I will interrupt you and be like, Book, why are you not replying to the Genasi? Clarify. And then, like, point to a dare and be like, when he asks you questions, you don't seem to answer. You must exert a certain proportion of will to control this interface. Uh, Yes, yes. uh, Blue wind thing, too stupid. I I just kind of look at. How do I leave? I demand to leave right now. Look, are you aware that there's a Genasi here? Yes. Are you aware that it asks questions? Yes. Why do you not respond? Other than lack of will. Rub it in, guys. Rub it in. You need to exert a certain force of will to control this interface. Clarify. And it just says, clarify. Clarify. (laughs) Clarify. (laughs) I assume this goes on for as long as everyone else can handle it. (laughs) Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break there and I'll go get a beer where you're sitting going clarify. (laughs) I I mean, actually, yeah, why not? Let's take a break at clarify, shall we? Um, <laughs> clarify this. Name of episodes. Oh, Name of yeah. episodes. Clarify. clarify. So not the percent saying that, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's as long as it takes until one of them that can actually interf- 
influence, sorry. Battle the, uh, of Wills. Yeah, evidently. Um, <laughs> the Metapod hardened battle. <laughs> also, uh, just for your information, guys, it's like a wisdom save of 10. Just, yeah, so... As Yoda yeah, no, says in chat, terribly. yes, kids do tend to get this on their first go. Um, <laughs> I, 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 just, I love that Fleabite had the highest wisdom score there. Oh yeah, <laughs> but your will you to learn about green, your will to learn about warp stone is the greatest than their need to care about possibly a dragon lady. Anyway, guys, we'll see you all after the break. Uh, say goodbye, everybody. See you in a minute. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.